life with Bilsif. Today on the Bilsif Show, we're gonna talk a little bit, we are. Just because I don't feel like doing anything right now. One thing I'm looking at today is I'm looking at the vintage air system for the old Chevy Silverado. So if you want a vintage air system, there's a form you gotta fill out. You can send her in and they can fix you up. I haven't done that yet. But I'm just curious on the vintage air system, so I'm gonna look into that. Another thing I got, a new hanger bearing for the old drive shaft, because this is a two-piece drive shaft in this big long girl. This big long goat. This big long thing of a bobber. So she's gonna need a hanger bearing. I was gonna do this tonight for a video, but I got home from work and I'm just I'm not into it. So I'm not gonna do it. If I don't do this video right now, even though I want to do this video, but if I don't do this video right now, you're not gonna have a video for tomorrow. So I better get her done because today's this day and tomorrow's that day. So <laughs> you need something to do. I'm not too sure what these are for yet. We'll figure that out when we do it together. Leave me a comment down below if you want to see the old hanger bearing installed on the old drive shaft. I know we got to pull the other drive shaft out. We got to clean it up and this and that, the other thing to get it in there, but we'll get her done. I got the front end of the truck back together. As you see, the headlights are back in and the girls are back on and this and that and the other thing. I did order some conversion kit headlights. Now, hold on. Don't say it yet, they're not LED. They're not the goofy looking ones with all the light bulbs and everything else in them. These are actual conversion kit. So you can put like a normal LED bulb in or an HRD bulb or whatever the hell you call them. So it actually looks like a factory headlight. The only thing is it's got a couple little little strips here and there for some blue LEDs in it. So it matches a truck, eh? But the, the headlight itself looks like a headlight. It doesn't look like an LED goofy retro kind of deal. It looks like an actual headlight. Actually, I'll put a, an image in right here. There they are. That's what they look like right there. What do you think of that? They look all right, eh? You gotta admit, those look a little better than the LED lights, I think. Why wouldn't they? I haven't got my hydro bill for the electric heater yet. I'll keep you updated on that once my hydro bill comes in, which should be soon. I did get a bag full of uh, gauges. The only problem with them is they're too small for my dash, so I don't think I'm gonna be using them. There's a bunch of them in here. You know, I got oil temperature, I've got transmission temperature, I've got water temperature, RPM gauge, fuel gauge, voltage gauge. Boost gauge. Boost, ooh. Oil pressure. So we get oil temp and oil pressure. Like I said, they're not the right size for my dash except for these ones. The voltage, the oil, the water, and the trans will fit in the dash. But the only thing is the water one, so I'd have to buy a new one. Those four gauges would go on the dash. They wouldn't look bad. Maybe I'll just buy four of them. Well, the ones are good, so maybe I'll just buy three of them. But these are too small. They won't go. It'd be nice because then I'd only have 3,000 miles on the truck. So that would be nice to put in there. I should just put that in there. Other than that, let me know in the comments below if you think I should snap through them and put them in the old dash where you don't have dummy lights you have actual gauges. But like I said, this is not a thing we have to do right now, so. Also my buddy there, TJ, it's giving me a cold air intake for this old Chevy. So we're gonna have to get a get over there and get that. And actually I was supposed to go over there tonight. Sorry about that, bud, I forgot. Bring him home now. Ah, oh, dick. Oh well, hey, it happens. Sorry about that. But we'll get over there and get that. Thanks, bud. Why wouldn't you? Might look pretty cool, so we should try it out. I need you guys to leave me your comments and let me know if you think I should. You know what else I need you to do? Leave me a comment below and tell me what you think we should name this thing. We haven't gave her a name yet. I don't know what to name it. We can name her Midnight. We can name her Blue Swirl. We can name her Arsehole. R10, R, R10. I don't know, let me know in the comments below what you think we should name it. I need your help with that. I'm glad I didn't finish buffing this thing because it's dirtier. I was on and off buffing this thing and finally I just said, you know what, I'm gonna wait until I'm done because it just gets covered in dirt anyways. I got one bad spot in the top corner there of the windshield, so I'm gonna have to get the roof painted sometime. It's just a little little bit of a crack in the paint up there. But hey, it is what it is. It's not a big deal. They'll have a dark roof like I have a dark tailgate. Then they'll match. So I should do the hood, the hood, the roof, and the tailgate. That way it matches. Hey, two-tone blue. Very right, right two-tone blue. I finally found a slider. It's coming. So we'll have to put that in together. Leave me a comment down below if you want to see that. Frig, I get you. That's five things now we can do, we're gonna be doing together. I gotta to get back to Steve's and drop off his puller set, push set, whatever the heck you wanna call it set. What is it called? Let me have a look here. Ball joint removal and installation set. Yeah, I gotta return that thing to you, Steve. Very right, I do. We'll be over to see you soon. 
I gotta get a cheater lens for my helmet for my welder, thanks to Ty. He told me where to get them, so I gotta get one of those, that way I can see when I'm welding. That will help. Listen to that, you hear that wind? Wow. How you doing? I feel like playing Call of Duty tonight. I really do. Anybody else play Call of Duty? Oh yeah, there is one person that commented and said they're hooked on Call of Duty too. That game is pretty cool, especially when you play it on your 130 inch projector. It's pretty freaking decent. Let me tell you what. My fan needs cleaning again. Remember there in a video about two years ago we cleaned that fan? I think she's due. Actually, maybe that was last year. It might have been last year. Let me know in the comments below if you remember when that was. But it's dirty again, just so you know. But a lot of that's probably black paint from painting this thing. That's what I'm thinking. This garage ain't very big, but let me tell you what, it's cozy. I think my garbage needs emptying too. You know you've got a lot of projects going on when your garbage pail looks like that. There's everything in its brother in that thing right now. And we gotta get her gone, we do. She's got to go. What else can we talk about? Oh, I told the boys to bring my flashlight in. They wanna see my flashlight. You should bring that in. I'm gonna figure out what room to charge with for that flashlight though. That's not it. Get this big ass flashlight off of eBay there a little while ago. But this battery has a light. The battery has a light in it. The battery, the battery has a flashlight. Figure that one out. And it's dead or doesn't even come on. So we gotta find the charger for that and charge the battery. Take that in and show the boys. Why would it? Unless that's it. Oh, that would work. Might blow up with that one. Yeah, I don't wanna wear that way. I'll have to find that together. I'll have to find that one day. It's somewhere, I don't know. Leave your comments down below if you know. I also bought myself some Mr. Pink there today. And an old uh, bottle we had at work, I mixed her up. So we got lots of soap wash and soap there for the summertime. Oh, there goes the heater. That's pretty good, eh? The heater hasn't come on and I'm nine minutes into this video and it wasn't on when I got home either. So it's doing pretty good. It's keeping this place pretty warm, it is. I'm liking it. Don't like much, but I'm liking that. Friggin' right, I'm liking that. So Mike, if you get the slider seat out of this truck for your tow truck, the guy I bought the truck from wants a slider for his tow truck. I said, yeah, you can have it because I'm putting a new slider in it. He's a fan of that slider and I'm not. I don't know, I don't, we're all different. It's just the way it works, right? Everybody has different tastes. If you don't like something I'm doing, Mike, I, I understand, but it is what it is. But anyways, that's about all I'm doing. This is just gonna be a relaxing night. I'm not gonna do this after all. We gotta uh, get some more ambition yet. I'm not quite there for ambition for that job, so we'll do that later. Leave your comments down below if you want to come along for the ride. You're gonna anyways, but leave it anyways. I'm just curious. You guys do always wanna see everything I'm doing. They, you've told me, a lot of you have told me, but let's see if we can get some more likes on this video. I'd like to get over 100 likes, so if you can like it, I'd really appreciate it. I gotta remind you guys every freaking time on every video to like them. And I gotta remind you to hit that share button too and subscribe button. If you're watching this, subscribe for frig's sakes. Cause if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, that means you knew. Or that means you just watch me or you don't have an account on YouTube. That could be it too. You gotta have an account to subscribe, you do. Hopefully everybody's having a good day like I am. Love you all. And until the next video, you know what to do for now.